Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we helped out Ryuji help out his former track team teammates and actually got rid of Coach Yamiuchi, the coach known as being a mini Kamishida, and actually got them their old coach back before Kamishida's reign. And although the track team is very, very grateful for Ryuji helping them out, he ended up declining their offer to rejoin the track team, finding that devoting his time to the Phantom Thieves was more worthwhile to him, and honestly, it's pretty cool since he chose his new friends over his track teammates that he honestly felt like wasn't worth his time at the end of the day, although he didn't mind helping them out of course, but honestly, it's pretty cool that Ryuji put, picked us over the track team, honestly, since originally that was his life. So, honestly, it was pretty sweet to see that he chose us. But, with that being said, our chapter for Chapter 2 is almost officially over, and we will be witnessing the end of Chapter 2 in today's episode, literally after our one confidant meet we got right here. So, we're gonna do EY, and Chapter 2 should be over right after this. So, let's see how he's doing. Huh, <laughs> you're a teacher for some high school guy I arrested. The news said it was a PE teacher, who was a gold medalist. But wait, gold medal? <laughs> whatever. I'll mind my own business. So, you're here because you saw my message, right? Yep, I wanna work. Huh, <laughs> alright. I'll tell you about the shop. It's a piece of cake for gun enthusiasts like you, right? True, I guess. I feel like my bond with EY will grow stronger soon. Um, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna hang out with EY? Yep, of course. Let's hang out with you with EY indeed. Huh, <laughs> if you're considered an employee, you won't seem suspicious coming in and out of the shop, right? If you get what I'm saying, bring the goods to the back. Okay, well, I'll do that then. Don't know what kind of goods you mean, but I'll bring them to the back, I guess. Hurry up and learn this stuff, kid. You've got to be able to start looking like an normal employee. I'm supposed to be running an honorable business here, you know? Mm, if you say so. Uh, though honestly, customers have been running a little thin lately. Mm, what do you mean by that? Some guys on the internet have been claiming all my goods are knockoffs. And once they've got a bad ramp like that, it's real tough to shake it. I kind of know how that feels, honestly, buddy. Huh, <laughs> kid like you. Hmm. <laughs> You going through something similar? Huh, I guess you wouldn't be doing any of this if you weren't, huh? I guess. Don't give me any idea, uh, details, though. I don't want to know. If you say so. <laughs> I wouldn't mind telling you, though. Um, anyways, I should probably fill you in on what's going on here, since you'll be helping me out. I'd bet anything that guy behind this, um, that rumor sued him. You remember his name from the diner, yeah? Yeah, I do. Some kind of Yakuza member, based on what we can tell. Uh, truth is, he's a second in command of, um, Hashiba clan. The same clan I was in, back when I was part of the Yakuza. Oh, really? Um, I always knew you were a thug? Oh, I have to go, or Yakuza. Um, I always knew you were a thug. <laughs> huh, you got some nerve. Eh, but it was the best answer out of all of them, instead of saying, um, I'm out of here or something. Huh, anyway, Sudam was a sworn brother back in the clan. I got some unsavory business going on down with him now, though. Problem is, I'm a known quantity in the underworld. One Ben Stimp and I've got guys crawling all over me. Hmm, that sounds pretty, um, pretty scary, honestly. That's why I've got you around. You look normal, sure, but you got a bald skin. Make, uh, makes you perfect for snooping on Suda. He ain't, uh, hope I ain't scaring you off with all the talk. Um, no, not really. I like that kind of stuff, or we made a deal, didn't we? Yeah, we did make a deal, didn't we? <laughs> idiot. But you know, I've got a bit of a soft spot for idiots like you. Eh, it's fair. Anyways, you get the gist of what's going on now, right? <laughs> You'll be working with that in mind. I expect a lot from you, kid. Oh, and I'll add to the special menu to thank you for getting that info for me the other day. Oh, thanks, buddy. It feels like my bond with EY is growing even deeper. With that, he, as he said, he's going to give us new um, stuff in the gun shop, so now we have camo customization. Weapon Stealer Arcana Hanged, rank 3, allows you to customize camouflage on your gun, which can inflict ailments. 
which is pretty, pretty good because of the fact that you can add burn, electricity, freeze, and I believe you can also do other kinds of ailments as well, depending on the gun, of course. But honestly, a pretty good ability, so we'll definitely take that. Um, you will now earn more EXP from Arcana Burst when fusing Personas of the Hangman Arcanum. EY has now given you permission to use Camouflage Customization. And we'll definitely take it. Um, hello? Oh, hello. Huh, I thought I told you to stop coming around here. Um, but... Is that one of your customers? Yeah, is he? Huh, you keep your mouth shut. This ain't none of your business. Just go home and study Carver. You've got an interesting exam's coming up, remember? Um, okay. <laughs> Kairu, Karu, nice to meet you, bud. Um, I guess I'll be going then. Okay, we'll see you later, Karu. <laughs> but, what's going on, EY? Um, that's Karu, my son. He's always asking if he can help out here. Always worrying about what I'm getting up to. <laughs> it's fair, though. He is your son, after all. Huh. But, I probably shouldn't be telling a kid like you about this. Well, you can head home for today. Nice work, kid. No problem. I feel like helping EY with his work has honed my proficiency. Yeah, it definitely would. <laughs> you gotta know how to hang out with EY, honestly, if you want to be, like, perfect for his, like, little <laughs> little thing going on here. So, honestly, it does make sense that you would get some proficiency for that. Because you gotta know the tricks of the trade if you want to get around doing what he has us doing. Huh. See you next time. Okay, we'll see you later, EY. Don't know when next time is, but we'll definitely see you soon, bud. But it's only 9% still. <laughs> only gained 3% since fan site has gone up. It's better than nothing, I guess. Um, what's up with that old geezer? Here we go. Is he crying? There he is, Madarame. I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I um, plagiarized my work. Oh, look at that, we got him. I tainted this country's art world, and even the Sayuri. How could I possibly apologize to everyone for what I've done? Um, he's crying way too much. Yeah, he's kind of reacting a lot more than Kamashita did, that's for sure. And that was the Urgent Apology Conference from by Madarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Madarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his peoples, Madarame is, um, is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt that validity that his maiden work Sayuri was stolen Believing it was used for fraud, which it was, the large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world and... Um, that old man's done for. After that conference, Madarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state he is, in men is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There is no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. True. Why did he spill the beans on himself? Doesn't that seem kind of weird? Also, a group calling themselves Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note in Madarame's exhibits. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Um, Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Um... Wait, what? Steel hearts? That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. So it was like, we're going to take your hearts. That's impressive if someone really did that. And hey, look who it is. Hmm, Phantom Thieves, huh? Yep, Phantom Thieves indeed. Oh, Phantom Thieves again? Hey, look who it is. It's Nakano Hara. <laughs> nice little um, Easter egg there. <laughs> it's nice to see him, though, since we haven't seen him since Madarame. Um, he first, like, spilled the beans on Madarame, so it's nice to see him again. I think that's the last time we'll see him, though, but it is still nice to see him, though. Huh, <laughs> you guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamishita. Um, and they mentioned the Phantom Thieves. Yep, they did. Man, this is starting to get really interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. 
With its power, we might be able to do more than just getting back in society. It's all a big deal. Hmm, this will be fun? I don't know. This will be definitely be fun. <laughs> uh, let's keep pushing on then. Yeah, let's definitely do that. As for me, I hope you, um, we just get, keep getting more and more famous. <laughs> um, something like this happening twice is massive too. It's too, um, it's too great a coincidence to occur normally. True. Um, if we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. True. Um, uh-oh. That's not good, police investigators. Because that guy is definitely a police guy. I don't know about the other guy, but we do not need to be getting caught now. Hmm. We may want to keep quiet down a bit. Okay. Um, do you know them? Ah, huh, you moron. Those are attendance officers. Yeah, that doesn't seem good. Um, hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Um, yeah, what's going on? Um, I uh, yeah. How can we help you? Yeah, what's going on? Um, that mon monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. Yeah, it's pretty good, honestly, sometimes. What are you all doing here? Are you all friends? Um, uh, yeah, of course. We wanted some tea. We're delinquents. What do we look like? Um, we wanted some tea. Yeah, we're just hanging out. Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? Well, obviously, we're in the train station, so there's literally a mall right next to here, so I don't know what you're talking about, bud. Um, we were just discussing where we should go. True. Well, alright. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite a stir. Ian True. Um, we'll be careful. I guess. Huh. Kind of strange that they went to us instead of anybody else here. But okay then. Huh. It's don't lie now. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Yeah, they seem to. Um, hey. Don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panic because of you. It wasn't that bad, honestly. We said we were going to get tea and we could obviously be. Um, from now on... Um, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. True. Um, wait. You mean people might be listening to us? Well, obviously. Eh, it'll be fine. Look around. We're the only people worried about it. Yeah, true. Um, I guess you're right. Um, by the way, Yusuke. You able to get anything about a monorami? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Um, do you guys forget you can't figure out any information about people outside of the palaces? Morgana's already said this. Hmm, well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. Hmm, well, obviously. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen after all. Well, obviously. Oh, at least Ahn's got it. Hmm, it's rumored that he may be sent to prison, and that case, gaining information would be difficult. Hmm, well, no go on that. <laughs> so, what are you going to do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw in such a place anymore. Oh, really? You're going to be leaving the shack? Isn't that your only home, though? Um, do you have somewhere else to go? Um, the school dorms, I can stay there for free, of charge thanks to my fine art scholarship. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Scholarship. Wait, you're that good? Well, obviously. <laughs> he's working for Matarame, so obviously he's doing good. Hmm, although Takamaki-san's house would be uh, do good as well. Um, I don't think that's happening. Um, wait, what? Yeah, I don't think that's happening, Yusuke. <laughs> you know you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. <laughs> True, I guess, but she's not gonna do it and let all that. Um, you moron. Then again, now that you're going to be living alone, oh, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever he wants. True. Hmm, for the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. True. And it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Monorama again. Um, anyways, we should just act like normal students while we look into it for our next targets, okay? Okay, sounds like a um, plan. Um, we'll be entrusting that, um, that to you again, Reiji. Yeah, it's your chance to shine again. Alright, guess it's just more prep until then. 
Okay, you got this, Ryuji. <laughs> and, uh-oh, that's no good. Oh, um, Yusuke Katagawa. Yep, Yusuke Katagawa indeed. Hey, I think Joker noticed that one. Huh, we just stomped in place like we noticed um, Makoto standing there. Or at least maybe we felt like we were being watched. An was doing that constantly, so I wouldn't blame Joker for doing it randomly. But, there we go. <laughs> the end of Chapter 2 is now officially here. And the beginning of Chapter 3 is now upon us. Um, so after she hosted Zui, you did it again for someone you barely knew. Um, you went, you were sent away twice, almost reported to police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Yep, that's indeed the case. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. Yep, that's true. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's hearts by stealing their desires. Um, or treasures. Um, it's the truth. Take it how you will. It's the truth. Yeah, you wanted us to tell you the truth. This is an interrogation, and we're giving you the truth. Um, very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Um, now then, tell me about this new group member who joined your group. Okay, we can tell you about the new member. Um, there's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarami's people can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Oh, you're wondering about Yusuke? Oh yeah, we're not telling you about him. I thought you wanted to know some things that weren't his name. Um, I'm not telling. Sorry. <laughs> I can tell you about him, but I'm not going to tell you who he is. Um, so you won't sell out your accomplice? No, of course not. <laughs> or friends. No turning on friends. I'm fine. There's still so much more that I want to hear. Okay, what else? It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, where I got a calling card. Um, for heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Oh really? That's good for us. Okay, here we go, next targets. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good target, honestly. He doesn't compare it to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. Uh, I'll tell you. But honestly, it's going to be a while. It is a big story, as we already know. The summary of the story up to this point has been updated. You can read this by pressing the triangle button to open the menu. Okay, thanks game. But honestly, that kind of stuff is kind of easy. You don't really need the synopsis because we've already went through everything. Hmm, the suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime details and motives. Hmm, well, that's all for the newscaster, I guess. Um, first come Ishida at Shujin Academy, and now Madarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of hearts. Yeah, they were. Hmm, I see. But isn't trying their, um, trying their cases to be to the series of psychotic breakdowns, jumping to conclusions. Furthermore, the police were frowned upon, stepping into this. Um, now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. Hmm, two, three years? Wow, so the mental breakdowns have been happening for quite a long time. So, how are we suspected if we just started showing up three years later in the future? I don't, I don't get why we're being suspected for what, what's going on with that. Hmm, very well. I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Um, thank you, sir. Okay. And now she's officially on her, um, case. Because, as we know, this is back in the past, so this is when she first officially started looking into us. So, uh-oh. And we already know she caught up with us, finally. But, yeah, there she is. Hmm, that damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that the abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. Oh, and Lacoon is again. <laughs> Long time no see. 
when we first officially banded the Phantom Thieves as a real organization. We ran into this guy right before that. And, as we know, as I said, he's also the same guy that's put us behind bars in the first place, all the way back when we first got our criminal record. Honestly, it's kind of interesting to see that he's a ruling party member. So, obviously, and he may be trying to make himself look like some kind of good guy, but we already know the truth about him. Hmm, this situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. It shall continue to put forth great effort, so that the every citizen can live with peace of mind. Hmm, if you say so. Hmm, not only are these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed, hmm. I don't remember what voice I gave that person, to be honest, so I'm trying to, trying to give a, a voice just because, um, technically he's not important now. He will be important later, obviously, but, um, but I don't, I don't remember the voice we gave him, because I was, like, almost, like, was that, like, 10 episodes ago? 12 episodes? It's been a while. So, I do not remember that, what voice I did for him. Huh. Huh. What's going on, Ryuji? Looks like you guys text me too. Um, I think you're getting them, um, as well. Oh, okay, what's going on? Let's see. Hmm, you have my gratitude. Huh, what, um, what are you all so polite for all of a sudden? I am truly, I'm thankful for all of, all of you for making me come to my senses. Um, you owe us one, or you're exaggerating. Yeah, you're exaggerating, bud. I most certainly am not. I must express my gratitude earnestly. <laughs> you're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you, okay? Hmm, of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Hmm, thank you. Well then, see him. Okay, see you later, Yusuke. <laughs> so, what do you want to do, Ryuji, now that we have some free time? <laughs> he didn't have to go through all this trouble. Just to thank us. He's such an honest guy. Anyways, that went well for our first job. <laughs> it was a huge success. So, that said, you got time after this. Um, yeah, of course. Well, what do you want to do? Well, the thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts lounge um, from the sky, I know. But I totally forgot that they expired today. So, you want to go right now? Yeah, of course. Um, Ryuji, didn't we just finish talking about how we need to be on guard? It's just darts. <laughs> Why are you freaking out, Morgana? Uh, come on, it's just darts. Don't you want to play too, Morgana? I mean, if you can actually throw anything. I think he probably could. He can, um, lockpick a door, so I think he can easily throw something, I think. Um, if you're just going to play, then I guess it shouldn't be a problem. Um, alright. Then let's head to the darts lounge, or whatever it is. Um, lead the way, Ryuji. Heh, <laughs> hell yeah. I'm on it. Oh, right, this place is in Kichiyoji, so we just gotta take the train first. Um, Kichiyoji? We've never been there before. Heh, <laughs> what, for real? There's a bunch of different shops right outside the station there. It's just one stop away from Shibuya, so let's head to the Inogami line first. Okay, Inogami line. That should be easy. I think we only have to get to the line. I don't think it's like the first day where you have to like transfer like three different areas just to get there with no extra dialogue. So I think that we're literally already there. Huh, <laughs> these stairs will take you right to the Inogami line. This is the way to, um, to Kichiyoji. Um, I'm, ki I'm getting excited. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, let's head on to Kijioji, which is a royal-specific area, so this is something that's not in the original Persona game, so we need to go to somewhere completely new. Kijioji, popular with men and women of all ages. The streets are lined with chomps. Find your own style. The unique styles on display may intimidate in newcomers, but are all are we welcome. You can now go to Kijioji. Now we're heading to an area that's outside where you, your computer pass works, so make sure you cut the fare. Okay, so we just gotta pay for every time we come here, but 200 yen is far from um, any kind of money, honestly. Using the train, the school cu commuter train pass allows you to go travel free from one, two railway lines, Yangin Yaha to Shibuya, and Shibuya to Ayoichitome. Um, you will have to pay a fare to travel outside of these areas, so make sure you travel your travel plans accordingly. Okay, not bad. It's only 200 yen. It doesn't bother me at all. Oh, those two. <laughs> and Makoto is still literally watching us. She's been following us this entire time. 
Wow, really? Um, so this is Kikyoji, huh? Um, you can tell it's nothing like Jibuya, just from the atmosphere alone. Hm, <laughs> true. Well, yeah, looks like there's a lot of shops here that you can, can't find in Shibuya. No, not that I already know. Um, it seems pretty interesting. Oh, it's got your attention now, huh? Ahn's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'd be fun to come here with some more people. I think the darts lounge is one block up from Main Street, but since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of other shops on the way. Okay, yeah, let's definitely check some places out. Since, obviously, with Ryuji following us, we can actually get some very specific lines of dialogue, since normally you would only come here once, um, like, by yourself, not with teammates, so it is pretty nice to have him around, because I already can tell that we're going to get some stuff out of that. <laughs> and Kodo is following us. Let's go! <laughs> hey, what you doing here? Oh, my! What a coincidence! Yeah, what a coincidence indeed! Still following us with the same magazine we saw you with a couple days ago. <laughs> yep, total coincidence. Well, let's check out some shops. Um, my Morgana senses are telling me that this store sells a lot of stuff. It suits my taste. Heh, <laughs> what the hell are Morgana senses? Well, let's take a look. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Um, hello and welcome. We have plenty of items here you can gift to others. Oh, okay. Well, let's buy something. <laughs> there goes Makoto. <laughs> a sophisticated pen case, made with the quality leather for a gentleman. Yeah, we'll buy it. You can give these um, as gifts to people, so you might as well just buy as many as you can get when it comes to support links, because it will give you extra points after the support link's over with. Um, thank you for your purchase. We look forward to your next visit. Okay, we'll definitely um, give those out to somebody. <laughs> I don't think you'd actually buy something, but did your senses tell you to get one? Yeah, of course. <laughs> They definitely did, but let's go to the more interesting looking places, like little food stalls. This is just a place where you bring dirty clothes, basically. So, honestly, I don't think Ryuji would have a fun dialogue for that. It's just like, oh, okay. Um, holy crap. Look at that line. I think I saw the store on TV. Um, oh, the smell. Looks like their special is meat cutlets. It's their most popular item. Um, sorry, we only have enough for special meat cutlet for people in line right now. Try stopping by at night time. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess we can't do shit if it's bit this busy. But let's keep in mind that we might be able to buy some special meat cutlets tonight. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And look who's still following us around. <laughs> She's really trying to get us. Even though we're literally here just for fun. <laughs> Dude, this is um, Nikuman. Looks so much tastier than the ones in the convenience stores. Um, it does. Hey, um, you guys want to get one? How about it? Um, hey, welcome. We're selling our hot and fresh Chinese buns here. Okay, let's see what we got. We can buy a couple of them, so let's just buy a couple of everything. Might as well, and see what happens with that. Thanks, come again. Thanks. Huh, Napoleon Nikuman and Pepper Nikuman. Huh, man, I wonder what they taste like. I'm totally gonna eat one, um, eat it one of these days. You can have one of the ones I just bought, honestly, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, definitely pretty cool. Ooh, we have a, like a soup kitchen over here, or grocery. I thought it was a soup kitchen because I saw like a tomato soup can. Oh, they got food from foreign countries. Some of these look pretty interesting. Huh, seems like they got some rare stuff. Let's check it out. Okay, we can check it out. Welcome, please feel free to enjoy the taste of countries of the world over. <laughs> Kodo's just sitting outside. <laughs> Let's just buy one of these popcorn bombs and we'll leave the grocery store. Thank you very much. Please come again. I don't think the money that you spend on it, it matters. I think if you buy something, it does change the dialogue, I think. Um, oh, did you get something? Let me know what it tastes like, yeah. Okay, we can definitely do that. I think there's a um, funny little side area place you can go to. I think this bench over here actually gives you something. So let's actually sit on this, because I actually saw um, the scene um, randomly one day. Um, hey, check out that comfy looking sofa. What are you gonna- what are you doing sitting on it? Um, just a little bit longer. Um, what is it really that comfortable? I mean, it is in front of the store, like it- this, I guess it must be comfy. Um, okay, let's get going. Uh, just a little longer. Um, really? Just how comfortable is this sofa? Um, hey. Um, hello? Man, everyone's looking at you. I guess I'd call you Bolt for doing this. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and with that, 
Let's buy the sofa now. <laughs> this will be my new gaming chair. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, whoa. So, that was so sudden of you. Almost startled me. But man, you got some guts. I'm pretty surprised. <laughs> but yeah, that was a scene that I randomly found um, when I was looking at things um, before I even started this playthrough. But yeah, it was pretty cool um, that it's, um, that's like something you could do because it's not something you normally would think. Um, a jazz club? Huh. Seems like a place for adults. Huh. <laughs> Dude, you getting jazz? That's cool. Either way, yeah, it looks like it's only open at nights. And honestly, you can't actually go into it right away either. Which is, which is kind of sucks because of the fact that what the jazz club does in this game, it's literally like the spa from Persona 4 where you get new abilities and stuff, but it has increased abilities on top of that. <laughs> An incense storm? Dude, I'm telling you. Seems freaking freaking fishy. Um, wait, hold on. Hey, let's, ta let's take a look. Ah, a customer. Please enjoy our special perfumes. And we'll just buy a couple of these because of the fact that these are actually good for lockdowns, which is where which is where our scent is right now. So we'll definitely take that. Um, thanks again. No problem. Um, I feel like these incenses have some strange power. Maybe we can use it for something. Yeah, of course. Eh, I don't get it. But if Morgana is the one saying it, maybe you should buy and come buy it sometime. Yeah, definitely should. If we're gonna be using lockdown like I have. Are you really following me over here too? Eh, this is the road. Yep, there it is. Penguin star uh, Sniper. Darts and Billiards. Huh, <laughs> the name of that shop matches one on the free tickets. It says Penguin Sniper, huh? Why'd you, um, give one of those doofy birds a gun? Hey, what are you saying about, um, penguins? Penguins are one of my favorite animals. I'll have you know. Or actually, my favorite animal. Um, it's not meant to be taken literally. Huh, <laughs> still. If you're coming up with a good name, well, whatever. Let's check it out. <laughs> yeah, let's definitely check it out. Um, I think it's- oh wait, it's the next one. Um, a store that only sells glasses. Check out all the different kinds they have. Um, I keep forgetting. But well, your glasses are fake, huh? Do you think it, um, I look smarter if I had glasses on? <laughs> Actually, there it is. Hey, so the game does say it. Huh, I was wondering that in the last episode, um, because I knew it was in the anime, but there you have it, right there. The game says it right there, that it's Joker's glasses are indeed fake. I was actually um, wondering that because of the fact that I knew it was true that they were fake, but I didn't know if the game actually goes into detail on that, but now I know. Huh, cool. Whoa, check out all the treasures they have in here. Huh, power stones? Are those amulet-like things, right? Huh, they got some weird power or something. Um, let's check it out. Yeah, let's check it out indeed. Um, welcome. Please take a look at what we have. Um, black rocks or a bunch of necklaces for amps of different kinds. I already have one of each because of my previous playthrough, but honestly, let's buy a black rock just to see if there's any kind of um, dialogue for doing so. Um, thank you. Please come again. Well, we'll see you later. <laughs> I almost got a bloody nose just from looking at those prices. Um, but it looks like they actually had some power in them. We gotta check it out sometime. Um, maybe it'll come in handy for some Phantom Thieves. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would. But, let's head into Penguin Sniper since we're kinda done here. Um, oh, here this is a place. Oh man, kinda get nervous. I don't blame ya, it is our first time here. Um, huh, you're such a child. Try not to embarrass the rest of us, would you? Um, how are you gonna get embarrassed, uh, Morgana? You could literally just go back in the bag. Huh, <laughs> you don't gotta tell me that. So, what's the plan? You wanna head inside? Yeah, of course, let's go. <laughs> There's no reason to not go inside. You can now quick travel to Darts and Billiards in Kijioji, and honestly, this place is actually really, really good because of the fact that the benefits of this place is actually very helpful. The entirety of Kijioji is actually just a nod to just having a better um, stuff for Phantom Thievery, since the Jazz Club helps you out with getting new abilities, better um, stats, and the Darts and Billiards place um, lets you bond with your teammates as well as getting better baton passes. Overall, a pretty good place, and as you saw, there's also shops outside where you can buy items for selling, or getting given to people for extra points and support points. Um, you can also buy some food items that will give you HP. You have the incense shop, which will help you out with lockdown. And you also have that shirt shop where you can give old shirts and get new shirts out of it. So honestly, it's not bad. Huh, <laughs> alright, bull. That's the new high score. Um, Bull? 
Yeah, what do you mean by bowl? You mean bullseye? Huh, center of the target's called a bullseye. If you land on a dart there, it's called a bowl. I know, because I looked up the rules online last night. Oh, <laughs> well, of course. Um, anyways, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score, score all the way down to zero. Four and the other player. Hmm, okay. Oh, oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get it to get rid of your score. That's pretty different. Yeah, it is, honestly. Huh, I always thought... I always thought normally before this game that um, how darts worked is you just try to get the most points. But I didn't know you actually had to hit zero with them before this game. I'll definitely be honest. Huh, we both start with same score then. You lose points based on your number on the board, where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero. Exactly, you can't even be off by a single point. Um, how does it sound? Pretty sick, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. Huh, this game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. Yeah, definitely does. It is darts. You gotta keep your hands steady and your dart even steadier. <laughs> one point. Come on, you have to be straighten your arm out more. And... Um, hey, Ryuji, what's up? Yeah, hey, what's going on, Ryuji? Oh, I was just reading this flyer. It says darts is a party when you're playing in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers. When it's your turn, you still use the same rules I told you, though. Um, hey, wanna give it a try? Yeah, of course. Yeah, sounds like fun. Yeah, we definitely do this. Um, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, let's do this, Ryuji. <laughs> let's do some darts with Ryuji. Although we don't have to throw them ourselves this time around, which is nice. Because after this, every other time you have to throw it yourself. Um, whoa. Bull ran off the bat. Man, talk about exciting opening. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. <laughs> high five. <laughs> He's always enthusiastic with high fives. I always love his energy. <laughs> Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. Okay. But you're only a runner, but if you say so. Oh, that's a bowl. Or, nope, triple 20. Hell yeah, triple 20. Oh, whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. <laughs> Honestly, not bad. That is pretty cool. T triple 20 is a lot of points right there for you, bud, so not bad. <laughs> We're almost down at zero points. Let's really focus on this last round. Okay. We got the last bits. Just gotta get it to... Oh, we did it. Woohoo! Zero points. Right off the dots. Um, ain't we badass? Well, that's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. <laughs> Thanks. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, pressure, um, pressure's insane. When it makes you want to do your best for your partner. True. Baton pass, rank 2. Damage up and HP recovery. You can go all the way to rank 3 if you guys are wondering. I feel like I understand some better, um, something better after pairing up with Ryuji. Baton pass, rank 2. Damage up and HP recovery for us as well. Not bad. Baton pass rank. The higher your baton pass rank, the more powerful the effects will be when performing a baton pass. Rank 1. Increased damage dealt. Rank 2, increased damage dealt, heal HP after a baton pass. Rank 3, increased damage dealt, heal even more HP after a baton pass, recover SP after a baton pass as well. You can verify a party's member's baton pass rank on the stat screen below, which is pretty good. Um, hmm, based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it's just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. Huh. Someone's dedicated, that's a good way to look at it. Yeah, that's pretty that's a pretty good way to look at it. <laughs> well, I do always have the pain of these on the brain. Um, let's keep practicing. Together here oh oh. Um, let's invite everybody next time. Okay. <laughs> Man, all this just from asking how um you to meet me here. This is like, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. Um, a strike of good luck? Why would it be a strike? Why who would protest having a good luck? Um, true, but it's fine. Um, oh, what's that? And here we go, <laughs> the billiards, the other part of this place. Oh yeah, they have pool here too. Hmm, this game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. True. Huh, <laughs> it's already pretty late though. We can come again and play it later. But our ticket is over though. Um, huh, and don't forget we got a couple of free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. True. Eh, but it was super fun, right? I always want to play again sometimes anyways. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. No problem, Ryuji. <laughs> it's what best buds do. <laughs> I always love hanging out with Ryuji. 
I, he's definitely a worth, like a really really good best friend character in this game because if you compare him to Yusuke or not Yusuke Yosuke or um, Junpei Junpei is pretty good on his own and out of Yus um, Yosuke Junpei and Ryuji it would be Yosuke R Junpei and then Ryuji but I like all their characters but yeah definitely Ryuji is the best out of the best friend characters and then Junpei a close second but yeah definitely. He definitely works. He's definitely like one of the best characters in the in the series, hands down. If I remember correctly, you transferred lines at Shibuya, right? Huh. Heard a customer saying it was gotten pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target, got it? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, of course we won't. Thanks, um, Shoujiro. Um, wow, it's really kind of that and safe, huh? Um, that said, you still want to check it out with at night, don't you? Um, don't worry, Spooks. Worst comes to worst, I got your back. Besides, there's a certain delicious smell in that street. The bear's investigating. <laughs> <laughs> True, they got some pretty good food there. Um, picked up on something interesting info. Um, you might want to hear it. Um, apparently there's this old man who's been causing problems in Kijioji. Um, if you make one wrong move, or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and turns into a fight. Um, even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did, and then sues for damages. So he's like a con artist, or like a conflict artist. Huh, that's ridiculous, and the cops. Yeah, what about the cops? Well, they tried to give him a warning, but that when he pretends to be senile, he gets away with everything. Um, they can't just let him go and check, Derry. Uh, why don't you just report him? Um, only problem is, knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get him, um, get us a name. Um, but I did hear that he hangs out in Kichiyoji's Harmony Alley a lot. Hmm, okay, noted. Um, this old man sure did sound like a problem. Um, and if we don't know his name, we can't make him have a change of hearts. Um, okay, it sounds like our next stop is Kichiyoji. Let's go check out this Harmony Alley. Yeah, let's definitely. An elderly's meaning of life. Okay. Now well, let's go check that out real quick. Since it is a mission, so we might as well do it real quick. Since it's not really hard to do, so we can spend 200 yen and go here. Um, we have a target we haven't identified, right? Let's go to Harmony Alley and gather some info on the old man. Okay, let's do this. I believe if we want to do this one, because it took me a while to do this back um, when I first did the original playthrough of this. Um, well, obviously, original, because New Game Plus and everything. But yeah, um, it took me a while to find this one. Um, first, I thought it was during the day, and then um, I couldn't find it. And it has to be a nighttime. And it's these two right here specifically that you have to talk to for this guy. Um, that old man hasn't come here yet. No wonder I'm drinking in peace. I don't like bad mouthing my customers, but he makes me so makes it so much trouble. Um, an old man making trouble. Um, hey, you don't think they're talking about the elderly man causing trouble in Kikiyoji? Yeah, it's definitely the case. Um, hey, this ain't no place for youngin like you. You're looking for something around here. Um, the elderly troublemaker. Um, oh boy. So even kids like you know about him. That old man's out of control. He takes drinks from strangers, he starts fights, and when he gets in trouble, he causes a ruckus and tries to move money off of people. What's creepy is more trouble he makes, the wider his smile gets. Um, got a name? Oh yeah, the old man's always shouting his name over and over. Um, Hiji Ono, right? Um, yep, that's the name. Um, alright, we got the name of our targets. Um, but you know, I can't be that hard on him. He's around my dad's age. When he complains about his joints hurting on rainy days, I can't help but feel sorry for the old man. I wish he didn't hang around here, but stayed warm with his family instead. Hmm, you might sound awfully sympathetic, but I know you really think he's a real pain in the ass. Well, yeah, I'm not denying that. Um, his joint hurts on rainy days, poor guy. I think we got all the info we need. Why not? Why don't we just talk about it in the hideouts? Okay. Now that you've the targets, you need to make sure everyone on, is on board with the mission to summon them to the hideout for a vote. <laughs> Obviously, as I said before, no matter what, they always say yes, so there's no point in even bringing that up, to be honest. But with that being said, let's actually go see what we can do here, because honestly, um, it looks like, ooh, EY or Yoshida. Since Yoshida is only available on Sundays, I think it's probably for the best if we do Yoshida instead. And he is on Station Square. 
So let's head off to Station Square and go see how he's doing. Because I don't remember him having any um, phone conversations that are very specific. So let's see how he's doing. Hey, Yoshidim. Long time no see, bud. Hmm. Many of you suffer greatly from this distorted world of disparity. Please know that you can no longer direct your you can you can direct your criticism and outrage at me. I, Torono Suki Yoshida, will someday find a way to address your concerns in Nagatacho. Nagatacho? Oh, Akira kun, how's your schoolwork? Hmm. I'm giving a speech again today. Do you think you can lend me a hand with it? Yeah, of course. I feel like I can become close with Yoshida thanks to the Sun Persona, Suzaku. I feel like my bond with Yoshida will grow stronger soon as well. Oh, so are you going to help Yoshida out? Yeah, of course. Hmm, then let's get to it. Can you please hold the placard? Um, well, I'm gonna go walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Okay, we'll see you soon, Morgana. Well, let's, let's help out Yoshida since we did promise him. Hmm, passing on the societal ills we have created to the next generation. It's not right. It will take time to solve this problem. However, we must start by making some small changes. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, that's the speech then. I hope you gleaned something useful for, from today's speech. Regardless of the audience's size, you must convey your thoughts as if you're talking one-on-one. -on -one. By the way, I forgot to ask you, last time we spoke, why do you want to become a politician? Well, I don't really want to become one, but um, I want to change the world. I want to improve my speech, or I'm not sure. Uh, I want to change the world, let's be honest. Mm, ambitious, indeed. If a little ambiguous, well, I'm sure you'll iron out the details as you go along. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. May I ask you one more question? What kind of politician do you want to be? Um, one with conviction? A popular one? I don't know yet. Um, I want to be like you, one with conviction. Hmm, <laughs> yes. Don't ever forget that, although what's important is what lies within. Okay. Allow me to give you some advice. What kind of advice? If you aspire to get into politics, you must possess a central philosophy. What is it that you want to accomplish? Hmm. What do I want to accomplish? That is the foundation of a great speech. You do well to remember that. Hmm. That's quite helpful. I knew that already. What I want to accomplish. Um, that was helpful. Thanks, Yoshida. Hmm, I'm glad. By the way, my philosophy is... Never give up until your voice is heard. I guess that's a good philosophy. To get your message across, be tenacious in conveying your thoughts to the audience. Have a firm point of view, and communicate it clearly. That's the first rule of negotiating. <laughs> you, have a re you have me reliving the fiery fighting spirit I had when I first became a politician. Hmm, you should explain the basics of speech giving. I feel like my bond with him is growing deeper. Huh, I guess so. But with that, rank 2 of the Sun Arcana, Man of the People. Arcana, Sun, rank 2. Diplomacy, occasionally ask for more money or items during negotiations. Your Sun Confidant has increased rank 2. He will now earn more EXP from Arcana Burst when fusing Personas of the Sun Arcana. Yoshida taught you how to use diplomacy. Okay, we'll take it. Thanks, Yoshida. So, what now, bud? Huh, get the hell out of here, no good Tora. Oof. Um, no good Tora. Aw, poor dude. Huh, the right. I am no good. No, you you seem good. You seem like you feel sorry for what you did in the past. So honestly, I am all on your side, bud. Hmm, all my apologies. We're done for today. I feel like I'm learning about the basics of negotiation has served to increase my charm. I guess so. <laughs> we now know how to teach people or talk to people, so it would make sense. So, I'll definitely take it. <laughs> mm, thank you for all your hard work. I'll see you next time. Okay, we'll see you later, Yoshida. Hope you have a good rest of your day, bud. Yeah, but looks like we still got one more thing for you. Um, hey, I wanted to thank you for today. I'm sorry you had to see me acting like such a coward right after I gave you that self-important lecture too. Hm. But I'm quite stubborn individual myself. I hope today's incident was at least a good example of what not to do, but what do you think? Do you take anything useful from it? Um, it changed my whole outlook. Yeah, I think it did. Hm. What really? I wasn't expecting to have such an impact. 
But I'm glad if it helped someone. Yeah, you definitely did. I hope our task, our talks from now on will keep giving you the direction you need. Well, I hope to see you again. Goodbye. Well, goodbye, Yoshina. We'll see you next Sunday, bud. <laughs> but honestly, yeah, I can't wait to see you again, bud. Okay, and with the morning not really having anything with the train ride, we do have Ryuji here, so let's see what's going on. Huh, morning. The response to Monorami's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the calling card. Huh, girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflowing phantom thief charisma. Oh shit, I'm finally starting to be popular with all the fly hunt. Um, hun oh no. Hmm? What's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong, bud? Uh, what's wrong? My uniform, man. That's what. We're supposed to switch into summer uniforms today. Oof. I knew people were looking at me. Ugh. Oh, god damn it. I gotta go home and change, so you go on ahead. Okay, we'll see you later, Ryuji. <laughs> Oof, that's... Well, there goes his charisma and everything about being a fan, um, having all the girls look at him the right way. But it's... Oof, poor Ryuji. Um, holy shit, you're pale. Short sleeves aren't so not for you. Hm, shut up, jeez. Anyway, did you catch the news yesterday? Watching that famous artist cry his eyes out over all the artwork he's stolen. That's the same thing that happened to Kamashita, right? Both got weird calling cards, too. If you ask me, the same person is behind all this. The news this morning said a group of called the Phenom Thieves are the ones behind the cards. I wonder how they get people to confess. I mean, they can't be literally stealing hearts, right? Hm, blackmail, maybe? Mm, no, but... Um, I guess that's fair. I God, made it. <laughs> Sprinting first thing in the morning was a bad idea. Well, that's definitely my best personal best by a lot. <laughs> poor Ryuji. Poor, poor Ryuji indeed. <laughs> but with that being said, oh, hello. Goodbye, Akawa and Makoto again. Hmm, how are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? Um, I have nothing to report yet. Yep, still nothing on us. Hmm, nothing at all. How many students are there who could have provoked a teacher? Um, I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. Hmm, well that's good. Definitely, definitely good. Although she did see us with Yusuke, um, literally not even like the other day. So, technically, she is getting close. Oh, you knew, didn't you, about Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students? And he did. Huh. So is your cause a just cause, Mr. Kabayo Kawa? Ooh, I'm the principal of the school, I'm definitely a good guy. Sorry, I just... After seeing that he has some kind of weird connections going on, because we saw literally after he told Makoto to start looking into it, he was literally calling somebody like, Oh yeah, I'm looking into the case. I'm totally doing this for a just cause. <laughs> yeah, right, dude. Um, sir. Hmm, what would come of you asking that? I'm a lie, actually. This investigation is just for is just for a just cause, correct? Hmm, I believe I understand how flustered this might be making you. I'm sure it would, was truly shocking for you as a student council president to see a peer attempt, um, you know. Yeah, that was pretty messed up, honestly. Um, yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Mr. Kamashita, mister. Hmm, that is the most pressing issue. We have to tackle the moment. Hmm, yeah, totally. Keeping a good image. Totally. I'll believe that one. Mm hmm. Um, so that's your reason behind this. Investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Um, why don't we- why don't we even- we don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you- you heard about the incident with the Monorami fellow, I assume. Um, that said, there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Kamashita's case. Hmm, I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Hmm. Honestly, fair, but it's not for a just cause though. Stop believing, stop pretending it is. Um, yeah. Hmm, that is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand. Not unnecessary questions. Um, honestly, that was a pretty good necessary question, honestly. Hmm. Uh, I still don't get why you're following him, but... Well, see you later, Makoto. 
I don't get why you still, oh, you're helping him, honestly. He's obviously shady. Hey, look, Madarame crying on the on the whiteboard behind us, or the chalkboard. <laughs> That's not a bad picture, honestly. It's pretty close. Um, did you see Madarame's press conference? Um, you mean the guy who was all like, how can I possibly apologize for what I've done, huh? Um, I think it was really those Phantom Thieves. You know, the whole stealing your heart thing. Um, that's... Huh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for our all to just be coincidence. <laughs> that was what Ryuji was hoping to hear. <laughs> um, how's it going? Have you found our next big target? Well, it's been only like a day, so I don't think it, it took us a while to find Monorame. Huh, <laughs> just started looking yesterday. No way we're, um, am I going to find one that quick. True. Um, oh yeah, I guess that's true. But by the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? TV station? Um, huh? Oh crap. The social study trip. Ugh, I just want to ditch it. Um, you better go to your school activities. Didn't they tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? True. Huh. <laughs> When, um, when me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more. True. Um, quit bickering and go. <laughs> it is true, though. Um, then let's all choose this TV station. Then we can all be together. Sounds like a good idea. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Uh, doubt that one. But it seems like that got Ryuji's attention. Um, oh well. Not like I've got anything better to do. Then wait for your info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious on me. <laughs> True. Alright, I'm gonna head back. <laughs> TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. <laughs> He's only doing it for the actresses. Oh, that guy's such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. He'll be fine. Don't worry about Ryuji. He's all good. <laughs> He's just being Ryuji. <laughs> honestly, is that a bad thing, honestly? Huh, <sighs> feels pretty great having everyone talk about us, huh? Hmm, Madarami is the only topic of conversation at my school. And as I am his pupil, most of my peers have chosen to ignore me. Huh, <sighs> for real? That's kind of bullshit. Um, are you going to be okay? Hmm, <sighs> there's no need to worry. They have already been treating me differently from the others as it stood. There is nothing new to me. Um, okay then. More importantly, do you we have any leads on our next mission? Huh, you kidding? There'd be no way we'd find a target that quick. Um, we need to wait and see. Two mementos we go, Drew. Um, great idea. Hmm, I will keep myself free. Please tell me if anything comes up. Okay, we definitely will, buddy. Oh, okay, you didn't miss much. I just skipped over him throwing a piece of chalk out my head, honestly, if you guys were wondering. Because honestly, it's nothing story-based. All you get is, like, a little bit of charm or something for it. So, it, honestly, and he says the same line every time, so it's, honestly, I just skip over that now, because there's no point in keeping it. Because, honestly, I don't like the idea that he does it in general. And, um, two, because it's nothing really much. After, um, you see him once, it's kind of, like, meh, honestly. Uh, Akira Senpai. Hey, Kazumi. Um, what is Pleasant Surprise? Um, it's really pouring down, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty bad, honestly. It would be a perfect day to go see how that one target in Mementos is doing, though. The guy with the, um, bad joints during the rain. I thought something like this would happen. Um, so I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. Well, it did happen before, so thanks, buddy. Um, thanks a bunch, bud. <laughs> You're a considerate kitty. He would hate that one. Well, you do carry me around in your bag all the time, so, um, I've got to show my appreciation somehow. Huh, thanks, bud. So, you got an umbrella this time for the rain. <laughs> Unlike the day that, uh, we first met Ryuji. That's pretty nice of him. He got pretty good on that, um, guess, though, because he wasn't there when that happened. Um, well, see you around. Um, won't you get wet, though? Where's your umbrella? Yeah, won't you get wet? Sure you want to run through the rain? Um, actually... I forgot my umbrella. Um, but it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run this at the station. If anything, it'll make for a good training. Um, you want a piece of this? Care to walk together? Yeah, you want to walk? We can t walk and talk if you want. Huh? But how are- Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? Yeah, of course. We are friends. That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. 
No problem, Kazumi. I don't mind walking um, to the station with you so you don't have to run through the rain. <laughs> you are a pretty nice person, so I don't mind doing this. Because after like all the small like things that we've had, honestly, any of our friends I think we would have done this for. Ryuji, On, Yusuke. Honestly, anybody we became friends with. Normally, I would have done this anyways for any of my friends, so honestly, I don't mind doing this for Oh, thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Um, is it for gymnastics? Yeah, sounds like it. Um, yeah, that's right. Um, two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of the summer, and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier to meet the de um, me to determine who the rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. Hmm, sounds like you're devoted. So I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. Huh, you sure are devoted or I'll cheer you on? Both are good answers, but I'll cheer you on, since that seems the most personal. Um, I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> Aw. Um, oh, we're already at the station. Aw, well, our time's already over. <laughs> it's nice seeing her every now and then, since, as we saw, it was quite a bit since we actually got to really hang out with her, so honestly being able to actually, like, know who she is and being an official friend of hers now is actually really nice. I'll be fine from here on out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear I'll return the favor some. Hmm, hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP tra treatments at school and a boyfriend to escort her around. Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. Jeez. She's an honor student. She's doing all her best. <laughs> you think it's easy being an honor student? You gotta actually be good at school and actually study and actually do all of that and waste all your time studying and getting good at school. Um, I know from experience, a lot of your time goes into school if you want to keep a good grade and you lose out on a lot of things. If I'll be completely honest, so I can see where she's coming from, and that's not fair for them to think that way, because there's a lot of work that goes into being an honor student. Um, I'm sorry, you shouldn't have to deal with my with a misunderstanding like that. Um, sorry about what? Or don't worry about it. Um, yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, yeah, you're right. Um, the same thing happened in class too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to obtain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup events, but I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, so not just Makoto, but Kazumi was also able to skip through that if they really wanted to. Huh, because I was hearing that. There was, um, like, random conversations students would bring up while you're walking around the school, and one of them was that... How come the honor students get to skip the events? Well, obviously it makes sense why they would, but obviously honor students wouldn't normally do that because I'm pretty sure the school has them do it anyways, I think. Um, oh, excuse my father's calling. Okay. Um, hello, Dad. What was that? Sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. Um, it's okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. Hmm. What's going on? Um, sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. Um, a bit overprotective, don't you think? Oh, you got a great dad, or he must care a lot about you. Yeah, you got a great dad. Yeah, that's pretty nice of him. Yeah, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thank you so much for today. Excuse me. Okay, we'll see you later, Kazumi. <laughs> it's nice to actually have your name, though, now, since honestly calling her just Yoshizawa before was... A little weird because of the fact that it's, I do know her name, so it was kind of weird just having to call her Yoshizawa. But at least now we have her name though, Kazumi Yoshizawa, the prodigy um, gymnast of Shujin Academy. Well, seems like Yoshizawa was, has it hard too. But never mind that, having wet fur is the worst. Try to keep me under your umbrella, will you? Okay, of course, bud. Um, text. Oh, um, hey, I found some great intel. Um, this time it's bullied by, um, a Kosai student. They call it Queen. Um, she's been ordering around a male student who goes by this name M. Kind of like M in S&M. Um, okay, that's interesting. 
Um, does M stand for Mishima? Yeah, does that, what, is that what it means? Um, that's a secret. Anyways, um, here are the details. The girl acting like a queen is Hikara, uh, Hikari Shimizu. I wonder if it's more likely that the girl will turn out like the, um, that if she has an S as an initial. <laughs> well, I already posted the warning, so you should take it on, um, when you have the time. Um, hopefully you don't end up in M. Hmm, okay. Um, what did he mean by S and M? Those are shirt sizes, right? Is it the size of his clothes? Um, hmm, anyways, er, her clothes. Anyways, it seems like she's a worthy target. Let's find time to insult the others at the, at the hideouts. Hmm, sadism is just a sign of love. <laughs> okay then, we had another target. How many of those do we have, actually? I might as well take a look. Wow, we got four of them now. Definitely quite a bit. And look at that, um, fan site now. We went from all the way from, um, 6% during the last chapter to about 9% to almost a 17%, literally a 10% gain from the last chapter. Not bad. Um, let's see here. Do you believe in the Phantom Thieves? Seriously, lol. <laughs> this is rude to the victims. Huh? This site's still up. Well, what are they after? No good people in there. Art theft rock full amount. <laughs> okay, that's that's it for that. There's never any good, like, nice ones in there sometimes. You get some nice ones, but it's really rare. But yeah, when that being said, that'll be today's episode. I think we did quite a bit. And honestly, um it was pretty fun. So, when that being said, thank y'all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. And I think in the next episode we should be able to do Ryuji's final rank, and we can. So in the next episode, we will be fully awakening Ryuji to his second persona. Although there's still one more, but that will be something we do very, very later in the game. Because I remember that usually when it comes to third state personas, it's usually at the end of the game. So honestly, with that being said, thank you all for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Keep being spooky, and peace out. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.